Hi guys and welcome to another fairy tale video. This is the last one I pre-recorded and you are probably going to hear it a long long time after I actually recorded it. It's just to make a load of stress get off of me. So I have something for you guys because I don't want to leave you without a video. So yeah, let's start it. Hair, fix it up. Fix it up has been a soldier for a long time. When the war had come to an end, however, and there was nothing but the same old things to do every day, he resigned from the army and decided to become a servant for the great lord. There would be clothes trimmed with gold, a lot to do and always new things happening. So he set out on his way and came to Fortune Court, where he saw a lord taking a walk in the garden. Fix it up, did not hesitate. He moved briskly over to the lord and said, Sir, I'm looking for an employment with a great lord. If your majesty is himself such a person, it would give me great pleasure to serve you. There's nothing I don't know or can't do. I know just how to carry out orders, no matter how they are given. Fine, my son, the lord said. I'd be pleased to have you. First, tell me, what do I desire right now? Without answering, Fix It Up spun around, rushed away and returned with a pipe and tobacco. Fine, my son, you are hired as my servant. But now I'm going to command you to get Princess Nomini, the most beautiful maiden in the world. I want to have her for my wife. All right, Fix It Up said. That's a trifle for me. Your Majesty shall soon have her. Just give me a coach drawn by six hours, a coachman, guards, couriers, servants and a cook, all in full dress. I myself must have pricey garments and everyone must obey my commands. Soon they departed. Fix it up, the servant, sat inside the coach, which headed straight toward the beautiful princess court. When the road came to an end, he drove into a field and soon reached the edge of a large forest, filled with many thousands of birds. A mysterious song soared splendidly into the blue air. Stop! Stop! exclaimed Fix It Up. Don't disturb the birds. They are praising their creator and will serve me some other time. Let's go to the left. So the coachman had to turn and drive around the forest. Soon after, they came to a large field, where close to a thousand million ravens were sitting and crying surely for food. Stop! Stop! exclaimed Fix It Up. Untie one of the horses way up front. Lead it into the field and slaughter it so the ravens can eat. I don't want them to suffer from hunger. After the ravens had eaten, the journey continued, and they came to a pond with a fish in it, that was moaning and groaning. For God's sake, I have nothing to eat in this terrible swamp. Throw me into a running river and I'll repeat your deed one day. Before the fish could even finish speaking, Fix It Up had exclaimed, Stop, stop! Cook up the fish with your apron. Coachman, drive it into a running river. Fix It Up himself got out and threw the fish into the water and the fish flapped his tail in joy. Now get the horses going, said Fix It Up. We must arrive at the designated spot by evening. When he reached the royal residence, he drove straight to the best inn, where the innkeeper and all his people came out and welcomed him in their best manners, thinking that the fortune king had arrived, though it was only a servant. Fix It Up himself announced at the royal court where he endeavored to make a good impression and caught the princess. My son, said the king, many such suitors have already turned away because they couldn't perform the tasks I assigned them to win my daughter. All right, said Fix It Up. Said any kind of hard task you want me to do. I've ordered a quarter of a litter of poppy seeds to be sown into a field. If you can gather them, so that none of the colonel is missing, you shall have your princess for your wife. Ho ho, said Fix It Up. 
that's not much for me. He then took a measuring cup, a sack and snow white seeds, went out to the field and spread the seeds next to the field where the seeds had been sown. Soon after, the birds whose singing he had left undisturbed in the forest arrived, and they picked up the seeds kernel after kernel and carried them to the white sheets. When the birds had picked up everything, fixed it up, poured them into a sack, then took the measuring cup under his arm, went to the king and measured out the poppy seeds for him. Now he thought the princess was already his, but he was wrong. One more thing, my son, said the king. My daughter recently lost her golden ring. You must return it before you can have her. Fix it up did not get upset. Let your majesty show me the river and bridge where the ring was lost. Then I shall soon return it to you. When Fix it up was brought there, he looked down and there he saw the fish that he had thrown into the river. It stuck his head out in the air and said, Wait a moment. I'll drive below. A whale has the ring underneath its fins. And I'll fetch it. Indeed the fish returned and tossed the ring into the shore. Fix it up brought it to the king and the latter replied. Now you must do one more thing. There's a unicorn in the forest and it's been causing a great deal of damage. If you can kill it, there's nothing more you'll have to do. Fix it up did not get very upset here either. Instead. He went straight into the forest, where he came across the ravens that he had once fed. Just have a little more patience, they said. The unicorn is lying down and sleeping, but it's not on the side where you can see its eye. When it turns over, I'll peck out the good eye. Then it will be blind and run furiously against trees and get itself stuck with his horn. That's when you'll be able to kill it easily. Soon the beast tossed itself around a few times and lay on its other side. All at once the raven swooped down and pecked out the good eye. When it felt the pain it jumped up and ran wildly into the forest. After it got its horn stuck in the thick oak tree, Fix it up jumped out, cut off its head and brought it to the king, who could no longer deny him his daughter. She was delivered to Fix it up, who took a seat next to her in the coach. He was in full dress, just as he had come, and immediately drove off and brought the lovely princess to his lord. Fix it up was given a fine reception, and the lord's wedding with the princess was celebrated in great splendor. Then Fix it up was appointed the prime minister. Everyone in the company to whom this tale was told wished to be at the celebration. One person wanted to be chambermaid, the other wardrobe attendant. Someone wanted to be chamber servant, another the cook, and so on. The end. The poor unicorn. <laughs> That's the only thing I can think about. But at least he's somewhat respecting nature. Uh, it's a kind of interesting story. I would be really curious what you think about it. Please leave me a comment. And if you like this style of video or my videos in general, you could like it and subscribe. And then we will see each other in my next video. Bye!